I'm going to be better all around. I'm going to be quicker. I'm going to be faster. I function well under pressure. Pressure creates diamonds, and I'm a fucking diamond. So if I don't have a headgear on, I can't get hit, and I'm not going to get hit. The person you see standing in front of you right now, you will not see this person in two months. Completely transformed into some outerly world creature. You got two guys, two villains, with the biggest egos in the world, the biggest pride in the world, with subscribers, money, clout, fame, and they actually know how to fight. This is not a gimmick anymore. I'm no longer a YouTuber right now. I'm a fucking professional fighter, and I'm gonna treat it like that. People die in this sport. This is a dangerous sport. I'm not gonna go to war without my weapons. And to get those weapons takes years of training, dedication, passion. So I don't think the average creator can do that. This is, this is a second chance. Can I be honest with you guys? Yes, please. I'm not in the mood for fucking jokes today. I'm not. I'm not in a good mood. I'm not at all. Last year, the press conference, like before, you know, we had the big party bus, we had the whole squad of people, everyone was getting so hyped. Last year I was a YouTuber first and a showman first. I wanted to put on a good show, I wanted to look good. This year I'm a boxer first, so I'm treating it like that. And I'm so mentally just zoned in right now. The fight is won today. If I can get in his head, which I know I can, and just seep beneath that skull, that fucking thick skull that is KSI, I think this is the beginning of the end of, of our friend JJ. Evan, what do you think about all this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took too many animals. That kid's high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I look good. I feel good. Let's get it. Richard Millie calls a Lambo. Oh shit. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the secret weapon. Wow. <laughs> hey, how much is this watch? Probably 300k. Oh, oh, shit. Yo, you ever put a Richard Millie on? I've never done that. How's it feel? I have no, I have no idea. How oh, oh, I got, I can figure it out though. Yo, what the f was that? Bro, <laughs> I said it this morning. This shit's like a job to me. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be as locked in as possible. And he comes out with some that was the weakest shit. I gave you nothing. Bro, I told him I told him to his face. I'm like, bro, nothing. what happened? You were so good last year. Everything you said was funny and it hit. Oh, he's making like Drake jokes? <laughs> bro, I'm so disappointed. I'm so mad right now. Watch the kid's demeanor the whole fight. Watch the way he sits in his chair. He slouches. I'm up talking shit to his face, talking about his family, trying to trigger him a little bit. And he gives me nothing. He talks more shit about me than you. Yeah. Never in sporting history have I seen someone that is so bad at trash talk. He was good last year. He was, dude, trust. Good, good, like still at the bottom, but this year, dude, he literally Oof. sucks. You know, why? you know 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 why? Because he knows he's going to lose? Because I'm ex-controversial. <laughs> you got nothing. It's your time this now. This it feels it's like, time. bro. The whole world going to watch you knock this man out, champ. The whole world. Right? I already won. I already won. That's that right. You the looked in his eyes. He's seen it too. He He's scared. seen it too, champ. Let's go. You going in there, fuck him up, champ. I'm serious. Fuck. I'm serious. I seen it in your eyes. Bro, I seen it in his eyes. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Yeah, that's why it's good. You ah! Exchange, 
okay. So that was yesterday. I've had uh, 24 plus hours to sort of decompress. A lot of shit was said in the press conference. My opinion, I got a little out of hand. I went somewhere that uh, unfortunately I didn't want to be mentally and I'll explain that. I'm gonna sort of give you guys a play by play of what was going through my mind. I will say my everything that I said was true. Starting off with even just seeing JJ, because mind you, I haven't seen the kid physically in person for a year. The last time we were locked in a 20 by 20 foot square, literally just beating the shit out of each other. So I was excited to see what I would feel like when I, would, when I was face to face with him again. I wish I could say I felt something when I saw him. There was no apprehension. There was no anxiety. It was just a pure sense of domination. And when I looked in his eyes, not only could I see the fear on him, his eye was still bleeding from the last fight. If y'all remember post August 25th, the kid had a, a, a blood vessel popped on his eye, I think from a couple of my jabs. And when I was looking at him, he had a brown spot where the blood vessels were popped. And as soon as I saw that, I got crazy confident because I was like, yo, this was from a year and a half ago and I've scarred this kid. I've left him something that's going to be with him for the rest of his life, the kid is gonna look in the mirror and be reminded of me. That was with head guards and 12 ounce gloves. With no head guards, yo. Woo! <laughs> so then the press conference started, and I hate to say this, but before it started, I tweeted, time to do what I do best. And that is, quite honestly, when I when I flip the switch, be an asshole. Like, I can be an asshole. Hey, look at this bitch. Look at this bitch. And this press conference is the, it, it kind of sucks because this press conference is like the epitome of the worst version of myself. The one that just prods and pokes and is a little cringe and is just yelling and screaming and saying mean stuff. But then again, that's my job, I feel like, as an entertainer, as a boxer, my job to sell tickets and move product. I'm here to put on a show. You don't have to like me. You can hate me. I'd rather you hate me than feel indifferent about me. But at least you feel something. And you're either gonna come and watch me beat the shit out of the kid, or you're gonna come watch me to go watch me to watch me to watch me get beat up. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> no! We're sitting here and Eddie Hearn is talking, and I'm like, yo, this like the, the, my opponent is sitting four feet from me. Why would I not turn to my right and just start saying some shit? So <laughs> some dude handed me a cup of of uh, ice water. I took the ice and <laughs> started throwing it at him, <laughs> and then he stood up and he got mad, and the team's kind of gotten a little bit of a scuffle. But yo, I'm I'm such a f punk dude and I know it I've been away from this kid for a year and a half and he's right there and I'm fighting him like why not just prod him a little bit so then Shannon Briggs by the way who's my coach two-time heavyweight champ of the world goes right for the biggest guy he can find he goes yo do it big guy yo when Shannon Briggs is in your corner one as a coach is incredible two as a bodyguard I don't care how big you are Shannon will disrespect you. Shannon will hurt you bro he will say let's go champ to your face let's go champ over and over again Again, and over again and do it then some more. Let's go champ! <laughs> so then they let our coaches speak. Shan went up there, he said some stuff. Let's go champ! And then Vidal, who's KSI's coach, he went up there and he started talking. He goes up there and Shannon goes, I never heard of him. I don't know if y'all y'all got this. He he like he like wrote a speech. He had notes in his hand. <laughs> and <laughs> Vidal comes up there with notes in his hand. And I I looked, I was like, is this dude about to like give a speech? Like it's not your day. So I start talking to Vidal. He's up there and I'm like, yo, like what do you do? Do you make YouTube videos? Are you a boxing coach? And he actually ended up getting booed off. Like no one wanted him there anymore. Eight and a half thousand people sold out in London. So then I go up there. It's my turn to talk. I, I, I don't feel like staying in one position. That's not my thing. I like to walk around. I like to be mobile. And so I go to remove this mic and a few people might have noticed this. It fucking hit me in the head, dude. All right, listen. As soon as it hit me in the head, I was like, no! This is not off to a good start, but you could see it. I, I pull it, I yank it up, and it just comes right down and like hits me in the head. I was like, fuck! And KSI and Vidal noticed and they started laughing. I was like, no. This is such a shitty start. And mind you guys, I have no monologue prepared. When they told me it was open format, I, I'm like, Yo, okay, I don't know what to say. Like, do I just stand out there and talk and be a bully first? Like, the goal is obviously to piss the kid off, but there's no question. They're just like, all right, go speak. About what, dude? So the first thing I go for, obviously, is Deji, the brother who disowned him. Where's Deji at? Where the fuck is Deji at? Where's your family at? I like responding to KSI better. Like last year he said so many things and I wasn't quite as quick uh, and witty as I am now. I think actually partially because of the podcast. Talking on Impulsive at length has made me much better at being able to respond real time. And so I, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I, I thanked his parents for birthing him so I could beat the shit out of him. Mr. and Mrs. KSI, thank you for giving me the opportunity 
to beat the shit out of your asshole son. And by the way, I stand by that. Like, thank you guys. I would love to uh, get you a gift card of some sort, take you out to dinner sometime. You're looking a little thick and you smell like herpes. I can smell your mouth. <laughs> I told the kid he smelled like herpes. Yo, what do herpes smell like? If, if JJ had any brain, even the smallest amount, he would have said, yo, how do you know what herpes smell like? And then I would have been like, no! You missed your shot there, and you go, miss your shot in the ring, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was the cheesiest thing I've ever said. If I'm being honest with you, he didn't he didn't smell like herpes. He smelled, but not like herpes. Let me take it off. Hey, we tried. Remember Come what you did last it. year? Yeah, yeah, why? Remember what you did last yeah, year? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. couldn't take it off because you super glued it to your fucking nah, head. That was your wig, bro. So I started getting confused here because he was saying that was that was my wig. He was telling me to take off his bandana. And then I was saying last year, if you guys remember at that press conference last year, I tried to take off the bandana. I ripped off the wig and then I tried to take off the bandana and it was super glued to his head. So yeah, I got super confused. I started to question everything around me. I was like, yo, is the space time, time continuum broken? Cause I could have sworn, I could have sworn I ripped the wig off real easily. And then the bandana was the thing I couldn't get, but I don't fucking know. By the way, your own fucking brother said I'm gonna win this fight. Hey, that is true. That is true. Deji, his own brother, said I have the edge in this fight. Logan has an edge. I don't know what isn't connecting with people when they say that they think KSI is going to win this fight because I see a lot of the Twitter polls and stuff. And KSI is actually, he's the favorite right now. Technically, I'm the underdog, which I'm totally cool with. I love being the underdog, but I don't get it. It's cool, though. It's a cool opportunity. Your suit is loose. Your suit is loose. So I'm yelling at Vidal at this point because every time this dude posts a YouTube video, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Maybe this is why your pupil looks like a fucking meatball. I don't know where Vidal's been, if he's out making YouTube videos, but how many times can you put me in a video before you realize like, yo, you should probably focus on making your kid the best athlete you can. Your suit is loose. Get a better tailor. <laughs> Get a better tailor. <laughs> JJ, you gotta pay him more. Oh my God, I just realized. Maybe that's why Vidal don't show up. Maybe that's why you got this brick shit house of a man holding pads for JJ and not Vidal. So th this was funny. Vidal, Vidal had to encourage JJ to go. He's like, go get him, JJ. Go get him there. Do your best job. So this was cool. When JJ walked up, finally, I'm like, yo, I don't have to just start pulling shit from my ass. I can respond, which is what I do best. First of all, before I talk about you, Logan, I want to talk about Jay. Let's talk about Jay real quick. That's your opening? Your opening is, yo, let's talk about Jay. Like, what's good? Where's the JJ from last year? Where's the JJ who brought the props? He had the wig and everything. I wanted that JJ. And the first thing he says was, Let's talk about Jake, and I can see why. I think Jake made him upset when, in our first face-to-face, -face, Jake came up to JJ and blew smoke in his face. What about you talk about the hey, dude you're fighting? a video saying, fuck KSI. Fuck KSI, buddy. It's up an F-P-H. Real nice. Yo, this dude's, this dude's talking about spelling? I, like, for those of you who don't know what semantics mean, it's the branch of linguistics concerning with meaning. So I'm like, wait, what the f is this kid saying right he's talking about like a spelling of the word fuck on my brother's youtube video yo lock in dude like get your head in the game right now mentally i'm telling you he's not there he, he hasn't been there for the past year and a half look at the pictures of us from the last fight the one where we're both holding the belt i'm there i'm smiling what a great first boxing event huh we did good JJ, not even present. You're on planet Xandar off the 405. You learn, you forget how to talk? Shut up, man. I'm Make talking me, about bitch. Jake. I'll, I'll wait till you after, innit? <laughs> I'll wait till you after, innit? I'll wait till you after it, and I'll wait till you, I'm really trying to understand this. I'll wait till you, I'll, <laughs> I'll wait till you after, innit? Like, that is some next level British mumbling. Even I can't understand. <laughs> Okay, wow, damn, your breath stinks. Uh, it's, uh, this, okay, literally, like, I just told him his breath smelled like herpes. Then he told me my breath smelled 4,500 miles. That's how far you flew from London to America to steal my jokes and talk shit to my brother? Yo, I don't know about all this. This ain't looking good for you, dog. In this fight, you're gonna be Kong and I'm gonna be the fucking coyote. <laughs> I spit on Andre. I'm so sorry, bro. I didn't know you were there. Ooh, fuck! We knew the Kong jokes were coming. There's no rebuttal. There's no response. It's just sad. Like, you ruined my day. You ruined my day, JJ. Good job, dude. Good job. I hope you're happy. I missed that little dog. Then he started making noises. He started making... You were... <laughs> now you were... That was... Uh, you're a fucking sicko! So confident that I could beat your ass. Hey, that was way That I could up. take a picture with Drake. Post it on social media 
and still win. Bro, what are you? Yeah. You're not funny. That's the joke. You flew 4,500 miles to make that joke? I'm like, yo, Drake's not going to take a picture with you ever, dude. When I was doing my music, though, you don't know how to sell out events. You couldn't sell out a 50-person venue in your I own mean, country. So that, that was me just getting under his skin because he, he went on this music tour while I was training this past year and a half. If you guys didn't know this, he was on tour. And some of the venues were so small and not sold out. And as an artist, that is one of the most embarrassing things ever. His music videos cost probably between 50 and $200,000 each and they get like what, two to two to eight million views. Let's just say JJ's music career is not probably going the way he wants it to. I pulled my hamstring. Okay, so first of all, you look like you're running with a dildo up your ass. What's wrong with having a dildo up your ass? Shout out to Jordy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> I, I, I had to, I had to do it, dude. I'm so sorry, dude. Where'd your personality go? No, no, I where'd it go? Down, because it's non-existent. Easy. Like this your is dick. Easy. Hey, JJ has no dick. <laughs> I reached a point where I realized, like, after he sat down, and even just the way he's he's seated, he's kind of slouched over like this. Body language experts will tell you it's a defeated demeanor. Everything about him had just sort of given up. And and by the way, I uh, actually kind of get this. If y'all remember in the press conference last year when I went to England, I sat down. You could see in my face. I was kind of sad. I didn't really want to be there. I wasn't having the best day ever. I was kind of tired. And that's what happened. If you remember, I literally just left because I was like, fuck this, I don't want to be here. And I, I sensed that a little bit with him here. So then this is where the, uh, the infamous JJ has no dick part came in. JJ has no dick. 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 And it was at this moment that I knew this shit is fucked. This press conference has gone to sh Shout out my mom for really making this segment come around. Hey, your mom's right there. Hey, how's my dick? Hey, mom, does JJ hey, have a dick? Hey. No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mama Paul! Pam for the win! Good morning, Pamster! Good morning, Pamster! He missed another shot there. He could have been like, yo, how do you know I have no dick? You've seen my crotch, but missed again. And then my favorite part about this. You got <laughs> no dick. What? <laughs> I go, you got no dick. And he's like... What? Like he just found out. <laughs> He's like, what? Newsflash, dude. You just lost your dick. Listen. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, can you imagine? He goes home later and he and he finds out that he has no dick, and this is the noise he makes. What? What? <laughs> so my eyes. Now at this point, he's defeated. He's not giving me much to work with. So we put the nail in the coffin with him. Do me a favor. Whoa. These next 55 days are gonna be the best days of your life. Oh, Take sweet. a break, stop training. Seriously, okay. Okay. soak it up. Okay. Cause the I rest will. of your life, yeah. after November 9th, uh -huh. you're gonna be miserable. Okay. Yo, JJ, go, okay. go, hey. go skydiving, bro. Clip this. Hey, go bake a cake. Go fall in love, my guy. Do something fun. Yeah, we'll Cause okay. your life is gonna suck oh, no. after November 9th. Okay. This is, where, this is where the disappointment really came in. I just expected more. And uh, he wasn't—he wasn't giving it to me. Nah. Is it over already? No, nah, I want to sit down. What are you doing? Make me, Have make you me given up? Me Give me something, though. dude. Fuck. Ugh. Just weak, dude. So finally, they put us together at the end, and I, I had one more opportunity to make a make something happen here. So I get up, I get in his face a little bit, and uh, easy easy man to move. I tweeted this easy man to move. I push him. I barely put any effort into him, and he, he goes back like two feet. And I didn't want it to end there, bro. Like I'm a little bit of a sick fuck. Like I wanted to get in his mind a little bit, so I took off his glasses, and now we're face to face. I can see that that mark on his eye again, and I'm not gonna lie. Got a little heated here. Fuck. Your eye is still bleeding yeah. from last year. Uh-huh. Bro. You ain't like training like I do. I, I don't train like I do. I my life. I can smell your fear in my life. I thought at one point, I was like, yo, this dude's about to kiss me right now. I was cool with it. Nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, I'm not. And then he looked a little hot. Right? So like, I was just looking out for him. I, I, blew, I blew on his face, I hooked him up. I was like, Whew. he hooked me up back. He blew on my face. We're cooling each other off, no problem. I guess you could say we just started blowing each other. <laughs> And then at one point I started crying. What? Or sweating out of my eyes or something? Like, I don't know why I don't even remember that happening. Look, it was a hot day, okay? And sometimes, yeah, I sweat out my eyes. Fuck you! So dude, we're just, we're just talking for like hours it seemed like. And all of a sudden I'm like stroking my invisible penis and then like humping the air and it's over. And I'm like, yo, what's, I'm just confused, confusion. What, what just happened? Why was it like that? And then I see this video of KSI talking after the press conference, and the dude is just not in good shape. He's got bigger boobs than most of the girls I hook up with. And I'm not body shaming him, but actually I absolutely am. You have like 55 days, get it together. I really hope you do. I'm being absolutely honest with all my content in the past six to eight months, I've, been tr I've tried to be extremely real with you guys. After that day, my confidence 
even more so than it already has, has is skyrocketed. I don't know if he's satisfied with the amount of money that he's made from this fight or what, but that fire that JJ had last year, that KSI that I fought last year was gone. That kid was gone, dead and gone. The kid I'm fighting now feels like he thinks he should be working hard and he should say certain things to offend me. There's no substance there. The wall was, was broke down way, way, way too easily. So yeah, I hope he loses sleep every day knowing that I'm working harder than him, knowing that I have more valuable assets on my team than him, knowing that I'm also working smarter than him. Everything about our training camp is so much better than his. And if you're a KSI fan, it's not too late to come over to the light side. Oh gosh, that's that not a, not a skin thing like uh like uh it's like a Star Wars reference. Fuck. Hit that subscribe button. We love you. We accept you. November 9th, I want to see you guys there if you live in LA. Actually, if you, even if you don't live in LA, I want to see you there at the Staples Center. Tickets are on sale now. Link in the description. Yay! These shirts are also on sale if you want to rep these Maverick Boxing Club. It's official. LoganPaul.com slash shop. I haven't plugged in a while. That felt weird. And it's going to be available to watch on the DAZN app if you can't make it. So download that. Be ready. I'm excited. This is going to be good. Now, if y'all excuse me, I got to go train. <laughs> I'll see you. I love you. Hit that subscribe button. Peace. You are disgusting. You are disgusting. That's <laughs> ironic. <laughs> That's ironic how I just farted when I just called him disgusting just now.